he's pretty cute. And he functions just fine. He eats. He molted, obviously, successfully. They are the green skeleton leg. No, no. Green fang skeleton leg or something like that. It's one of the skeleton legs. I have all of the skeleton legs now, except the red one, but I'm happy. I don't need the red one. The skeletons were my favorites, though. They needed to happen. Ooh, tattoos. I'm excited. Man, white lip pythons are amazing, but they are super expensive. That's one of the snakes I've always just admired, just how beautiful they are. I had a dream that Knives escaped out a window. Oh my god, I hope not. Where's Knives? He best not. I'll come for him. Right? Not enough gun, dude? I went many times with many people. I love going with my girlfriends from work who had kids, because the kids would be totally fascinated and we could just hang out. It's not the emerald skeleton. I believe they're the blue fang. I'm going to look at it. I wanted to say it without looking, but. It is. Where's that little bitch? It is the blue fang. Yeah, this one's Nemo. They're still really, really small. But Nemo has only seven legs. But he gets around just fine. Yeah, Cyanognathus. That one. I do have an emerald skeleton, but it's one adult, and it's just buried 24-7. Vissy, we have so many things I need to do. Like, I feel like I'm going to take you and Eliza. Like, I'm going to I'm gonna be Aladdin on the carpet. A whole new world. Dazzling shit you never seen. I'll take you to a Pong show in Thailand and Pong show? Oh yeah. You love it. Kind of they like It's ping play. pong. Oh. They just really get... love ping pong there, man. <laughs> what was that movie? Um Oh my god, what was that movie? Um Balls uh, of Glory? Balls of Fire? No. Balls of Fire? Balls of Glory sounds better. Very naked, so did I. I got to go to a, a elephant sanctuary. Balls of, Balls fury. of fury. There you did go. Did we mix it together? Yep, we did. We were completely off. We're great. Well, I had the balls and you had the fury, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> DC Zoo. You know, I didn't like the DC Zoo. Maryland Zoo is way better. I didn't like the DC Zoo. I thought it was kind of sad. Oh, there's something in me by balls. Bye balls. I've got it open tattoos. I'm looking at them as you post them. They're fucking gorgeous, dude. I'm so excited to have another animal lover in the community so I can stalk your profiles and watch your fish. It's how I don't own five billion animals and look like an absolute hoarder because I live through other people. Oh my God, the white lip, man. Those are so, man. Can I ask what you bought it for? Just, just, yeah, I'm literally watching you. They're gorgeous. I'm scrolling them right now. They're fucking epic, man. L seriously beautiful. 450. Yeah, the last one I saw on Morph Market was like 500, I think. San Diego Zoo's amazing, yeah. I, yep, very naked. I'm kind of the same. Like, I don't like zoos where it actually looks and feels like a trap for the animals. I'm much more into a zoo that is huge you know and makes you feel like they actually have somewhat of an environment and like i went to the dc zoo and the monkey you know the ape exhibits and gorillas and um chimps and the orangutans they were literally in cement like cement enclosures cement boxes with a couple hammocks and some hay like and i don't mean a hay layer it was some hay like a sprinkle. It made me real sad. Yeah, Morph Mark is the shit, man. It was fucked. Yeah, it made me really sad. Yeah. Those ones make me sad. But like, the Maryland Zoo, beautiful. It's huge. And I mean, 
you can tell they fucking invested in that zoo. I don't know who did it. Someone invested some money. It's huge and very, very educational. It's not just like, look at this animal, pay to feed it. It's like, to see the giraffes, <clears throat> you go into this like barn where they can come and go as they please. But if they're in there, you see their giant heads and it's right fucking there, like literally like 10 feet from your face and you can read about them and there's always someone in there talking about them. And it just seems like they have freedom, you know, like they're not forced to sit there and stare at you or get stared at. Yeah. It's like prison. Exactly. That's what it looked like was prison. Most of it's wrapped around this giant multi-floor aquarium where everything just kind of lives together and the walkway goes down around it so you see different layers of the ecosystem. Yeah. Don't come to the OK Zoo. It's so depressing. Really? You know, Mickey, the hobby I wish I would have kept on and I wish I wouldn't have let people convince me it was weird was keeping animals, honestly. A large part of my life, I just didn't keep any animals because everybody around me was like, that's weird. You're weird. What you're doing is weird. And now that I'm an adult and I'm home all the time because COVID, well, I'm home all the time anyways, but COVID super home all the time. Uh, I just said fuck it and I live my childhood dream and I, I play video games and take care of animals and I fucking love it. Yep, they can come right down. I literally, Mr. Tattoos, I somewhere on my computer I have it. I took a video of like me walking. I was taking a video on my phone walking into the barn and I turned over and a giraffe was like right here and I started to cry because I love giraffes. Like I identify with their big weirdness on a weird level. I love all animals, but I really like giraffes a lot. It was amazing. Their zoo is really nice. They have a huge bird exhibit that's like enormous. And you walk through it on a walkway and it's huge and tall and the birds have plenty of room to fly. And it's outdoors and it's just was very well taken care of. It was nice. Our public education can get, system can get sucked. I can get fucked. Dude, I know. I miss the zoo. I do too. I do too. We never went to the DC one when you were on East Coast. I don't like the DC one. It's the the Maryland one is really good though. DC one was sad. Yeah, DC one. I was just that's what I was just talking about. Was the DC one like? Did you hear me talking about the ape exhibit? How they were all just in cement boxes. That's the DC one you were talking about. Yeah. So I don't remember it being like that, and I went not that long ago. I went like I went with Brian. We went like. And Ginny. God, four years ago? I went around the same time as you did then, so I don't know. It was sad to me. Like, I was so excited because I love apes and I orangutans. I didn't get very far into it. I only went through North America, maybe? Because it was the closest, and I was by myself. I didn't want to do too much walking by myself, but... I feel that. I feel that. Oh, Mr. Uh, Tattoos. I don't remember it being too... We too too much like that. I know at the very beginning, like they're, I guess they're smaller things. There was a lot of shit like just there, but I don't know. I mean, we saw like birds and some other stuff, but I just, that stuck. I honestly can't remember anything else because I that stuck monkeys, with me really bad. They had little chimps that were like all over the place. Doc, I don't know when we went like the, was it the it was the DC or was it the Baltimore? No, it was the DC because it was free. I remember yeah. people yelling that the chimps were starting to throw shit at people again. Like at their actual shit. Yeah. <laughs> I think monkeys do that. Like, isn't that like I think that's what they're known for. I mean, that's what we were being warned about. <laughs> Imagine they just warned us we might get shit thrown at us, but there's actually no chance. What would what do you even do in a situation like that? I love the Smithsonian. I have no idea. I miss the Smithsonian's. Mm -hmm. I I like zoos that um, do rescues. I think that's like the best way to do a zoo. Honestly, like an animal Nature that reserves aren't they? Normally? Exactly. Yep. Yeah, I was gonna say they people that brand away from zoos. Yeah, they take in animals that cannot go back to nature because they're like missing a wing or a leg. And to have those animals in an educational environment where you can teach people about nature, that's the kind of thing I'm into. It's zoos that, like, 
uh, start breeding animals openly and just massively breeding them to sell to other zoos, but the original was a rescue. I'm sorry. Like, you're do not doing anything good. Yeah, the alligator lizards are amazing. I was going to say there's one more lizard that is my favorite. Those are really dope, but there's another one, and I'm trying to think of the name of it. It's like, oh, God, what are they called? I believe they're from Australia, and, like, their head looks like their ass. And it's like a spiny-tailed or something. Fuck. They're so cool looking. Like, they're really thick. Ah, oh, fuck me. I'm going to have to think of it. I don't have a clue what you're talking about, so I can't help. No, it's yeah, cool. I don't, I don't know what at all. It's just a... Oh, I'm going to look it up. Hold on. It's going to bother me. Um... Moray eels. You know what my dream tank would be, honestly, would be cuttlefish. Like, just have a self-propagating cuttlefish tank. I would never leave it, though. I wouldn't stream anymore. We would just stare at the tank. Always have an umbrella with you when going near the monkey enclosure. My tour guide when I was a wee lad. <laughs> Eliza didn't get that tip, apparently. No. I, I, I mean, I didn't have a tour guide. I just kind of went and did my own thing. I don't listen to the rules. It's gonna go away from people. Man, what the fuck is it called? That's gonna bother me. Mm. I'm gonna find it now, because otherwise my ADD brain says no. Um... I think I may go lay down. I am starting you to You should sleep. sleep. Go sleep, girl. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, yes. though. I always it enjoy the conversation. Fun. Yes. I feel like we don't talk as much lately anymore, but... God. Pain I mean... Jane scratching yourself really loud. Oh. No. Dude, I just want to wake up before work tomorrow so I can play Eco before work. <laughs> You know what? How bad is that? No, How bad it's, is you're fine. You're fine. So bad. You know, on my days off, honestly, like when I'm addicted to a game, I look really, I really do look forward to like getting up in the morning and playing it first thing in the morning when it's quiet and nobody's around. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Absolutely. Man. No, I totally get it. Totally get it. At least it's like educational. It's not like you're playing a piece of shit, you know? That is true. Fuck it. That is true. Yeah, that's true. It's a good way to look at it. <laughs> Meanwhile, staying up for like, um, what am I at? Hour 23 for like the fourth time this week. Yeah. Blame the game. <laughs> I mean, they must be doing a good job if they're making something educational this addicting to people. Like For real, though. And they like, you have to cooperate with others. Ugh, we won't get into it. Go to sleep, Eliza. Okay. Okay. Good Go. night, everybody. Sleep well. Zone. If you wake up later tonight, let me know. Watch a movie I, yeah, or I something, have a but I probably will. If you don't, but... like, try to sleep till tomorrow so you can at least work. Yeah. Yep. I will try. Okay. Good night, everyone. Hi, Eliza. We love Wait. you. Your mom's fuck. Your mom's fuck. Um, Mickey, I think you figured it out. You fucking cunt. You did. Shingleback lizard. I don't know how you did it. I don't know how you. Fi I don't know how you guessed it. I don't know how you looked it up. I was Googling, like, everything I possibly could, but it kept coming up with, like, actual lizards from Australia. Fuck. You figured it out. It's the shingleback lizard. I'll look it up on my computer and show you guys right now. That is one of my dream lizards, but it's illegal to export things out of Australia, and I don't think anyone has one in the U.S. they're breeding, so I will never buy one. But if it were ever fucking feasible, morally for me... This lizard is one of the arguably cutest things I've ever seen in my life. For me. Lizard with the same head and tail was literally exactly what I was going to Google next. 
That's what I was gonna Google next. I remembered like a word like shingleback. I was looking for spiny back and there actually is a spiny back lizard. So then I look for spiny tail. There is a spiny tail lizard. I was Googling like the way it looks and there's too many common names, you know? Curious Illuminati. Um, I'm gonna show you guys this lizard. We're gonna take a break because I gotta pee real bad. But look at this. Like, uh, what? How do you not love that? What the fuck? It's adorable. Adorable. Probably mean. Who knows? But look at the face. And its butt looks like its face. I know. The Aussies have everything cool. My skin is from Australia, but it doesn't look this cool. And it was definitely, you know, bred in the States. I know, right? And its butt looks like its head. Like, look at that. That's its defense mechanism. I think it's genius. They're so cute. Shingleback lizard. They do. I watched an interview of a guy who actually owns one in the States, and he calls it, his is named Pinecone. Oh my god, shit wizard, you ain't wrong. But would you want to kill that? How cute. Look at it. It really, aw. I love them. I love weird animals. I love every animal. But the weird ones capture my soul, and I don't know why. Is it a video? Is it a tongue? I don't want to hear you talk or get DMCA'd for music. Look at him! Ah! <laughs> Bleeds poison? I believe it. Toads, like, excreted out of their face and shit. Aren't they cute? There's your Abronia. I watch this guy cleanse reptiles. I watch him constantly. I put him on in the morning while I'm chilling. I need a burp. This is terrible. A dildo with legs, if you're brave enough. Vissy, not everyone's into crazy animals, and I respect it. If everyone was like me, we'd probably have a problem. There can only be a couple people like me, but what the fuck? How cool is that? Nature did this. Nature did that, you know? Like, nature was like, shit, something's ass needs to look like its face, but also a pine cone and survive Australia. Got it. Yeah. I'm a boss. Oh my god, can you even fathom? I mean, I like the normal colors, though. I'm not a huge fan of some of the crazy morphs. I kind of like just normals. Because I'm kind of like, you know, of that mindset, nature did this. Like, nature did that. And that, to me, is beautiful. Their eyes are, like, rock solid. How can you even say it has an emotion? Look at this little eyeball. Can it blink? Nobody knows. What the fuck? I like them too. Okay, pee time. Yes, I need to run an ad and I desperately need to pee, but thank you. I'm keeping this. Thank you very much for finding the shingle back. Um, that's a tank. I was trying to find that's some boots. Who has too many links up? Katie does. There we go. Get up, stretch your dicks, get some water, get a snack. I'm going to go pee, and I shall be back. If you have been gifted a subscription in my chat today by one angel fuck, please refresh the stream and you won't have to suffer ads. If you do not have a sub and you have to watch these ads, God bless you. Just stand up and walk around for a minute. I really appreciate you. I'll be back. It stopped mirroring. I forgot what I was saying. What was I saying? I don't know. It's gone now. No, you're good. No, you're fine. I just wanted to make it make you guys know I'm not like ignoring you. I'm not being a dick. I was just fixing it. It's always a battle. It's a battle of software, hardware, bitchware, fuckware. Cunt wear, whatever wear you want. 
Man, it was like a brush you would totally not use for this. Maybe it was a dry one. But it just made the best texture and for the life of me. I gotta write them down or something. That would be... It wasn't... I don't think it was any of these. Maybe graphite. No, definitely not graphite. Man, when your brain is just... It's honestly, I just draw too much. I've been doing this so much the past, like, ever since I got the fucking iPad. I can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. I'll just pick something messy. This is fine. Make it hard. Giggity. <gasps> my molly fish finally had babies. Oh my god. You're gonna have so many little babies. <gasps> Reese, I need to do that. That's smart. My mystery snail laid three clusters of eggs. Dude, Reese has snails too. They're pretty cool. Wet wear, underwear, underwear? Under there. This will be fine. Actually, it probably should be kind of soft because it's like inside a crystal. We can add details later if we want to. Soft. It's got to be kind of soft, you know? A little soft. It's fine. We don't want too many details in it. The space sloth, I think, should be really the center of attention. Because that's going to be a cool looking... I mean, hopefully, if I draw a sloth well, we'll see. I'm not exactly like a pro at this, so I'm just giving you guys tips I've learned since I got this wonderful tool of magic and drawing. <laughs> I have gotten better, I think, but not exactly like artistically better, just probably better at understanding the program. Tools do not make the artist. Skills, eyesight, and, you know, many, many, many years of practicing probably over and over and over and over and over instead of paying attention to your schoolwork and getting in trouble for it, but eventually selling your paintings for over $300. <clears throat> How are you all doing today? Tomorrow's Faded Friday already, and I can't believe it. What happened to this week? I feel like we were all, like, it, I was. I was definitely so anxious for um, what the fuck was going to go down. Like, I just didn't want anything terrible to happen. Honestly, that was it. I was like, please be boring. Nothing weird happen. Make him go back to Florida and fucking go golfing or something. And so I think my anxiety kind of made the week fly heavily. But I'm glad it's over with. We all still need to pay attention to politics. I hope I hope that's, you know, apparent. But we don't have to, like, you know, talk about it in moral and utter disgust every single fucking day of our lives anymore. At least not for the moment. One week since you looked at me. Cocked your head to the side and said I'm angry. Three days since I laughed at you. DMCA scares me, so I'm gonna poo. <laughs> Missy, how are you guys holding up, though? How are your kids doing and, like, quarantine? I think, I mean, I'm just saying that. I think he went there. I think everybody, like, said he was flying there, but who knows. If I was him, I'd leave the country because he's gonna be fucked. Like, not just by Pence's D-hole, you know what I mean? Are they hermaphrodites or are they like asexual? Do you know? I was always curious about mollusks that way. If they like, I don't know. Cause like I have some scorpions that are maybe, um, what's the word? Parthenogenic. They are, they're hermaphrodites. They got a cockgina, dude. Have you ever seen, like, snails? Well, I'm sure you have now. Snails and slugs fucking, like, dry land snail and slugs is fucking wild. They, like, emit a neon blue dick and swirl it around, and literally they sword fight, and whoever wins gets to be the male and penetrates the other and fucks them. It's wild. I watch a lot of nature shows. <laughs> My phone's ringing. Why? It's almost dead. I need it to stop going off. Nobody cares. Isn't that fucking dude? Google it. It's actually beautiful. Like, it doesn't look like a cockfight. It looks like 
this big, beautiful, neon, like, effervescent, like, blue cock creature. It's amazing. I also think, um... Otters are another one with a weird dick. Otters, we were speaking about otters earlier. Otters have neon orange dicks. Oh my god, Lady Gaga singing was fucking perfection. And her dress, like her like, oh god. Ugh, chills. Chills! Chills. Absolute chills. Slug fucking. I'm telling you, man. I've been interested in sex and genitals since before I can remember. Seriously, I've always been a weird little perverted child. I was always looking at my brother's wieners when they were in the bath and looking at mine and like, what's the difference? What's going on here? Watching all my farm animals fuck. My whole life, I was like, what is this? Like in a curiosity way. Not in like, a, I want to fuck a snail way. Ooh, viewer, what's up? Results of a wandering mind. I wonder if insects know they are in enclosures. If they do, do they think of their life like we do, where they don't really mind isolation too much? I suppose this would mean they have human-like consciousness, and that seems kind of like an insult to insect life. So, insects, or spiders um, in general, they have just a ganglia. They actually don't have, like, any of the frontal emotional brain at all. They don't think. They just do. It's like full instinct. Every moment of their existence is instinct, yeah. Oh, I know, Mr. Tattoos, really gross story. This is everybody, you know, beware, really gross story. Um, uh, when I worked at Lowe's, I worked with this guy who was, he dealt in breeding Arabian horses. He would breed like really high quality Arabian horses and then sell them and blah, blah, blah. And when he lived down in New Mexico, he said it was a common thing to find someone fucking one of his horses. Like common, like more than once a year, he would find someone trying to fuck one of his horses in the barn. He had to, like, put up alarms and shit. Yeah, viewer, you're absolutely welcome. I love talking about spiders and animals. They're my life. What in the actual fuck, right? Yeah. I didn't believe it, and he was like, no, I'm being 100% serious. It's, like, a legit fear. Like, you have to be so aware. Fucking disgusting. Don't fuck a horse. How do they consent to that? Ew. I have an idea for the sloth. I'm looking at reference photos. But I have an idea for the sloth. Mr. Hands 2. I'm from Washington, and I lived there when Mr. Hands died. We all saw the video. Everybody in high school was like, oh, we got to fucking watch it and looked it up on like rotten.com or something disgusting like that. Of course, we watched the whole goddamn thing because we were sick kids. Imagine needing a sign. Attention, please do not fuck my horses. Thank you. What does moat look like? No, I want something more solid than that. Mm -hmm. No, I hate those stamps. They come with a lot of my brushes that I get for free. So then I end up with 5 million stamps I don't want. But that's fine. Um, We will do a skyscape. Do they have... Oh, fuck, bitch. Fuck, bitch! Alright, background. Yes, motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, you don't want to know what I watched all of. Mr. Hands. It's terrible. It's a terrible, terrible video. If you really want to know what it is, I will give you a cliff notes. Ooh, my spider's out. What up, bitch? But it's but it was har it harmed me. It harmed me. I'm gonna burp. Uh. Um yes. Don't watch it. Don't do it. Would I bang a dragon? How even? No. No. Mm -mm. Probably not. I'd love to be friends with one. Ooh, that's a pretty brush, but not what I wanted. Oh, this is the clouds. I forgot. 
That's what I want. I gotta look up space. Fuck. Space. Um, I'm gonna do, like, orange space because it'll contrast the purple really nicely. 